Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you have not watched the part one, it's highly recommended to go and watch the part one. And then you can continue uh, uh, the part two from right here. All right, so let's get into the code. As you can see here inside the models in the customer service, we have a plenty of other models also. That is exactly not meaningful for customers. Only customer will serving the customer related services, right? Definitely it makes sense to the customer, but that some other way around is gonna work, right? We'll be, we'll be deleting this, all those things, right? Uh, the order and products from here. Only thing it will be needed, only address and the customer. So let's, uh, let's check the address stuff, what exactly it, it has. So address has the street, street is a kind of string and postal code, that's fine, city and country, that's perfectly fine. So address is clean, our, our address is clean. So the customer, uh, in, inside the customer model, we do have uh, plenty of things exactly that is not needed or maybe we need to tweak a bit from, from here. So first, uh, let's see, the email, uh, it's fine, per, um, password also fine, salt and the phone number, that's also fine. And address, that is also perfectly fine. Address, we are just uh, keeping the reference of the address model right here. Okay, then, uh, yes, then then the card. The card, we are just keeping reference of the pro product model. So that is exactly, it does not belong to, uh, it is not belong to the, uh, the, the customer. Because we don't have the product model. We have already deleted the product model, right? So what, instead of that, what we will do here, we will keep some kind of the embedded model right here. That's good. So card is our, our card is clear. The same way uh, we need to add uh, for our wish list. So with this wish list is a kind of uh, array, array of objects. So here again, we are referring to the, the product model, which is not belongs to the customer. So product is belongs to the product service only. So what we will do here, we will again, we will add some kind of. Um, so our our customer uh, model is ready so it seems it's throwing some kind of uh, error that's perfectly fine because we have already deleted that the product model from here so that's why it is throwing um in the x we need to remove this uh, order and the products this one i got now it seems it's perfectly fine good so our model section is done right now now let's go to the repository stuff like uh, we we need to access the, the uh, we need to modify the repository as i told you in the beginning of this uh, tutorial like we will we will mod we will follow like uh, three layered architecture here so uh, this um, model is done then we need to tweak a bit little bit that repository layer so at least we can access the specific meaningful data from here only okay now uh, in the create customer that is perfectly fine our customer model is there and then uh, it's perfectly fine and create address also done because create address it will be needed and uh, after that find customer by id this one exactly we need to uh, tweak a bit because and this wish list and orders and card product these are exactly not required only public address this is just keep it like this way that's good now with this customer by id and that is also perfectly fine because anyway we are having the wish list stuff that is uh, inside the model you can see inside the model customer yes this wish list all right so in the add to wish list we need to modify a bit uh, because here this product will this product will doesn't exist at all because product will be having id and all so this will this product model we already we have deleted so instead of product what we will do here we will we will add some kind of data from outside that is going to be like our id and because this product we will be not be able to access from outside so that's why we are just uh, grabbing all those parameters from the request and uh, creating one product object and passing it right here here that's that's good now product is our product is ready and check it out like in a profile we'll be having uh, populate wishlist that's perfectly fine 
if if profile will be having kind of some wishlist item then we are adding all, all those wishlist item to a, a new variable which is called wishlist and if if this wishlist will be having uh, error as some kind of data in array then we are just editing this stuff otherwise we are just pushing this product to here that's good so so far it's all good i guess right that's good that's good so now uh, go to the add to card item the add to card item also gonna be same uh, way so here from this item stuff we are just copying it from here this one this product we need to just modify like this way here also we will pass the um, id name price and banner this available is not required that's good and again we are just populating uh, the card product so this card and product uh, is it doesn't exist at all this card model right so what do we need to do uh, we need to remove this product from here because already we have one uh, object that is called cart inside the product model card object right it's a kind of array and it has a product and unit so uh, that is the thing we are doing right here populate the card okay all right so id name description uh description also not needed i guess right so id name price and banner is uh, sufficient for us so this card item will be the product and product will be having those information now add order to profile so this is what we need to do here first uh, customer id will be needed and order will be needed right and the profile is perfectly fine the customer model fine by customer id and here you're checking it like if customer will not having any kind of orders then uh, uh, we are just uh, putting it uh, empty array and after that we will push to the order whatever the order is right there okay then afterward we will just keep empty the card and again we will set the d profile profile here and send it back the profile as well the same way okay that's it that that's it seems like you know all good in the customer repository so we can fairly delete the product and the shopping repository so there is no any dependency from here i guess right now uh, one thing we need to do uh, because there may be plenty of errors it will be there that's perfectly fine here uh, inside inside the database index so this product repository is not required and shopping repository is not required only customer repository will be needed so now let's go to the service layer and good so inside the customer service the customer repository here we are just creating an instance of the repository customer repository and sign in is perfect there is nothing to change and sign up is also perfect i guess yes there is nothing to change and add new address this is like you know uh, we are just creating the in, uh, the address right here okay by getting the input from our, our client and this is also going through and that's perfectly fine uh, and get profile also it's it's perfectly fine because only we are just finding the uh, the customer data only from here right now uh, now we get shopping details we need to find out like you know what are the customer id right here and if customer will be having some kind of information then then we will just send it back right here that's good so uh, these are the same thing like you know get profile and shopping detail this is these are the two apis uh, these are the two functions are returning the same data that's good so get get with this from the customer so if you are going to get with this here here we are just uh, simply populating that the wish list from there because with this wish list is a kind of our array which is inside the customer model that that's also perfectly fine all right now add to wish list so add to wish list is a, is a kind of uh, function which is be uh, adding the wish list to the customer and only the customer id need to pass and the product object we need to pass it from the request okay and uh, the manage manage card manage card is 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 the same thing which is going to be handle our the card items uh, stuff uh, uh, number one is uh, uh, like you know, we are adding the card then is remove will, will be always false and if you are if you are removing the card items then is remove will be true so here in the manage order we are just adding orders to the customer profile so if you are going right here then we can see uh, we are just finding out the customer model by customer id after that we are just pushing the order items right here so again this is order also kind of object right and which is going to be having uh, the same thing which is we have added right here in here id amount and dates so these are the things exactly we need to pass it here okay 
All right, so this subscribe event uh, is a kind of function which is gonna be deal with our communications with other services. Once uh, other service will call to our service or maybe some communication is gonna be happen, then we will perform some operations depends on the specific events. So that is, I will I will just uh, make you understand how it, it gonna work. So uh, here in the service um, uh, layer, we, we don't need the, this uh, product service and shopping service. So we are going to remove these things from here. That's good, all right, that's done. Now, um, now let's go to the API. Inside the API, again, we don't need the, the product and the shopping API from here, but still we need to look into like what are the accessible stuff it is for available for customers. And once we review the whole endpoints, then we will remove the other stuff from here. Seems like it is giving some error. So why it's giving some error? Because yes, we need to remove this product service and shopping here from here. Only customer will, will be stay here. That's that's perfectly fine okay still giving some error all right it's it's all about these services so we have already removed uh, two services from here right product and uh, and the shopping services so that is we need to tweak it here so uh, for that thing we need to go to the um, customer service first here uh, we will remove this customer stuff from here because uh, anyway our um, our gateway will be take care of our root API right so and then we will just simply removing this customer from here. Then, and then if you're not removing this customer, then our endpoint will be something like, uh, like this, dot slash customer. So which is exactly we don't need, only we need the customer, right? So here, this customer is removed from here, this one also is removed. First of all, let's see customer sign up. Sign up, these are the things exactly it's needed, email, password, and phone and service will be taken care of like in you know, the sign up the whole functionality that's perfectly good and uh, login also the same here and uh, yeah that's good and address also the same way first id it will be needed then the street postal code city and country and that's good yes we are passing this uh, stuff right here that's perfect now uh, now this profile stuff right profile again we need to remove this customer from here and uh, the shopping details also the same way. Need to remove from here. We see it's also the same. All right, so for shopping details, we need to have the uh, ID here. And after that, we'll pass the information to the service layer and service layer will be get the shopping details from the repository and will give me, giving back as a data. Good. And we see it's also the same thing right here. That's good. So since our, our customer service is clear, so we need to remove this, this two stuff from here. Let's delete. That's good. In index also, we need to remove this product and shopping from here. Now, uh, additionally, a couple of things we need to keep in mind because uh, uh, as you can see here, uh, whenever uh, are in monolithic architecture, you know, we are, our customer service directly can ca call the D products by calling that the specific layer, service layer uh, from like here, from APS, we can use the multiple services here, maybe product service also come to the picture or maybe uh, what is called, uh, yeah, shopping service also come to the picture from here. One, one single endpoint can handle multiple uh, service, access multiple services from here. But in the, in the microservices way, you know, we don't have a control of the product service and shopping service. To, to, to get the, the communicated with the other services, we should have to have some kind of the bridge communication or maybe some kind of webhook or maybe kind of HTTP calls or whatever it, it can be convenient and we can, uh, we need to entice right here. So that, that portion we will take care right here, good. So this subscribe event is a kind of function which is gonna be take care of uh, the communications with other services. So if other services will call our customer service, then uh, the customer service will perform some kind of operations with the help of maybe HTTP call or you can say webhook or maybe uh, some kind of like, you know, subscribing in a kind of message broker or some other, other way. So uh, for a while what we will do, we will add some feature here and that is gonna be like inside API, uh, we can say app event. Right, so what we are doing right here, uh, simply we are uh, we are just exposing one webhook to other service. 
so other service can directly call to our service uh, by by putting our you know, base URL and, uh, and and the endpoint. Let's say if we are if we're calling the customer service from other service, then then other service will put like base URL after that the customer and the app event, right? Then it will reach to here and it will be required some kind of payload and that payload it will be subscribed to our by our service. So our service will be getting from like you know something is happening in other service so they are requesting like you know add this product to our wish list or add this product to our card or remove from card or create order so accordingly according to that the, the call you know then we are we are just adding we are just performing certain operation in here in the customer service so that is the thing we are doing right here that's good so it seems like our, our customer service is pretty much clear but the still this service is not reachable so how can we make it reachable from here? Um, go to the uh, Express app here, uh, right before the customer app. So later on, what we will do? Later on, we will maybe uh, see in other in another video tutorial. I will explain how this event-driven architecture is working. So or maybe you can get some more, more exposure to work in uh, in event-driven way. <laughs> now it seems it's working so let's try it out if if it is working or not so here what I'm gonna put something um, inside the customer service okay we will put the, our um, uh, some some kind of data right here as a payload all right that event will be something like this so I'm going here yeah that's good see it is it is coming the response is coming right because we are already we are we are running that the gateway right and because of the gateway it is it is just going to the customer and the customer then this this webhook is getting this webhook is getting called from there okay, good so as you can see here all right so uh, there's kind of service and uh, there's a spelling mistake so where i did this spelling mistake right here yes I received received event that's good let's try to call yeah it's it's working that's good so it seems like our customer service is perfectly fine so let's uh, have a try from here in the postman so we are just uh, we'll just uh, try to uh, log in I mean to sign up from here and log in a profile and all those things we will do from here. So this customer base will be the remain same because it's it's already we have we are running this um, this one all right this server right a gateway as a server. So just to try to sign up, see it's it's working right. You can copy this token here and put it to in the root directory here as a bearer token. And now, uh, okay. Let's try to do login is yes, same this one we will take it good now customer profile we are just to try to call see customer profile is nothing right and shopping details also it should have to give some empty stuff yeah all those things are empty and we are tr we will try to add the address right here so uh, we can do one thing we can check like what what kind of request or response we are getting right here we can log it here also uh, so in my case, I'm going to do like Not response only request, we are just trying to print it out here So that's good. So if I'm going to add the address here again, just to go here As you can see here, this is, this is the request exactly we are sending from there, right? That's good Here we can see the entire entire request that's good this is the authorization token and yeah host is it wasn't one right and now we are just going to create one address here yeah it's address uh, address has been added right here customer wish list we don't have wish list everything is correct everything is uh, perfect i guess right so rename this as test record so let's move to the uh, product service so product service will be having plenty of features so that is we will uh, we'll try to catch up uh, quickly and afterward we will move to the shopping service shopping service will not having uh, much more data right here all right so we are just removing this log from here just to clean the console 
and this time I'm taking the product service on the top then this service I'm putting right here side by side now now let's see all right so let's complete the product service also in the same way so I'm gonna close all and then go to the product service the same thing first of all we will do we'll review the models first and then we will tweak a bit the repository and afterward we will move to the services and finally we will touch the APIs so that this, this is our goal so here in the models I mean I think the address and the customer uh, stuff that is exactly doesn't make sense here so first I will I'm going to delete this one from here and um, order also definitely order also not needed here delete the order only the product stuff is needed right so just to clean this up first and all right so let's see what other things are available in the product model product model is a kind of uh, a product description it will be having only the product related information in terms of like product description product name uh, um, product banner type what type of product it is and what is the unit and the price available and supplier so all those information it, it will be having inside the product model so so that's all that's a pretty pretty good pretty clean right so let's close this one and go to the repository here so inside the product repository we don't need the, the customer and the shopping repository here we are going to delete straight delete from here and uh, product repository what are the things exactly we need to take care here first of all to create product create product that's perfectly fine we are just creating one model from here and uh, we are just taking some input from uh, from the client and then simply um, saving right here and after that whenever we are looking for products then it is it is giving a bunch of product whatever the products are available then we are just returning from here only and find by id it's nothing only just uh, finding the product by id and it's returning back and again find by category is just to find a specific product by a specific category and returning here and find selected products exactly it is a kind of information which is uh, related to products uh, whenever we are we, are, we need some information from a bunch of product then we are just simply pro providing the, the array of ids then it is finding from the product model and giving back it seems it seems like the product repository is pretty clean right i'm going to close this one here now now uh, go to the product service inside the product service here so uh, again the same way we are just creating one repository of the product repository so we can get the product specific data from the repository so here we are just creating products and getting inputs from a client and uh, accessing the repository getting the products all right so get products is nothing exactly it's it's patching out the specific available products from the repository and uh, it is aggregating the categories here after that it is returning the summarized products and the categories here good and get product description is is the same thing like only this uh, finding by product finding product by id from repository and giving back the specific product and and this promet data as i told you earlier it's it's nothing it's specifically just promoting the data in this such a way so it can be accessible by the client uh, uh, in the in a generic way in terms of like it will be always having some kind of data some kind of um, uh, keys uh, depending on uh, depending on that the keys you can access the response from here right and get product description also the same and get get products by category is simply finding the products related to categories and get selected products also finding the same way find selected products uh, by the array of ids and get products by id is the same uh, which is exactly we are accessing somewhere else maybe yeah something like this way uh, the same that's good so it seems like there is no dependency of the customer service and shopping service we can fairly remove from here that's it that's good now it's pretty clean uh, but again we need to jump into the api part here the customer api is uh, doesn't make sense here and as well as shopping also so we are going to remove from here all right so here in api again we need to add uh, some couple of code here so at least it can be handled perfectly that the uh, communications between other services first uh, remove the customer and shopping here from here okay again i'm going to create one file that's going to be like uh, app events
uh, as you are our our customer service is, is able to receive the events as well as our product service also but how we can communicate from the product service to customer service so that part we need to do it first um, here inside the util we're going to add a couple of things here and index here yes right after this <laughs> So how we will perform some operations? So uh, already we have installed a couple of things right here in the package station. As you can see, uh, oh, I'm sorry. So we have not installed that uh, library, I guess. So what do we need to do? We need to install Axios here. Axios. So as I told you in the diagram, you know, uh, here, the communication it will be something like HTTP calls, right? So later on, maybe in some other tutorial, I will show you. I will show you how exactly we can uh, we can call all those things with the help of the message broker. Maybe uh, maybe we can use some kind of standard protocol. So where we will be uh, we will be publishing and subscribing to the exchanger, then we will be get specific data. What were exactly data requirement for the service? All right, for a while we will use some kind of HTTP or maybe webhook uh, uh, to notify that the other services like you know this order data has been changed or something uh, you need to perform the operations related to this specific data. So uh, these are the things exactly we will do right here. First, we need to import Axios here. So here we are not uh, calling anything like await or something because we are just to simply call these things and we'll leave it, right? Because we are not uh, we are not bothered at all like what are the requ what are the response it will it will get from here or maybe it is the request will be uh, it will get succeeded or failure we are not bothered at all for a while. So maybe some other uh, maybe later on we will we can take care of like what are the request or response or something it is coming from there. And we, we can we can maintain a kind of registry also for uh, specific events, but this is a kind of different route. Okay, so for a while we will just call like this way. Now we need to hook up our app event also in the same way, here in the Express app. Here, this uh, customer shopping app event also we need to hook up here. That's wonderful. Here, I mean, app event is perfectly working, and this one also is gone. Yeah. Let's review our product services. So, product create is fine, uh, but why this customer service is here? Yes, customer service. We are we're accessing the wish list also from here, wish list by ID and all. Yeah, a lot of things are going on right here. Okay, so those are the things exactly we need to tackle it here. We are going to remove this customer service here because customer services not belongs to uh, the product service, right? So instead of that, we will import simply our our publisher. Now let's uh, go uh, one by one the, the the endpoints. So this one also not required here. Here, one wants to create a product is perfectly fine. The category by ID. This is also good and and get products by id this is also perfectly fine and get the ids that is also perfectly fine the get selected products by id and yes wish list this is the thing exactly which is we need to take care of first so here uh, the id is perfectly fine and now now uh, now here we need to get the payload which is we will send to uh, send to our customer service get the payload uh, to send to customer service service so uh, we will notify to the customer service like uh, the user has already added some kind of data to the wish list so that is we need to notify to, to, to that uh, to, to get it done i mean we need to add some more features to the service because uh, somehow we need to uh, make it possible like um, build a kind of generic payload which is we will be passing to throughout of our our uh, um, customer event and the shopping event also now go to the uh, product service here go to the product service here and the, at the end of the product service we are just going to add one function this is the thing so get product product payload get product payload 
uh, will return simply some kind of payload, but that these are the exactly uh, the data it's which is needed to to construct this payload. First, uh, first let's const product. And once this payload is constructed, then we just need to return it from here. So our payload, uh, this function will take care of the payload only, right? All right, so this is added in the product service, right? Now let's go to the API here, product API. I'm going to close others. Here in the wish list. So this event uh, a key, this event key has to match with this one here, see? Inside the customer also service, we are just uh, listening to this event, see? So as soon as it is get fired from the, the product service from here, from here, then it will it will be listened to here and if it is coming at the wish list or removed to as wish list then it will be directly execute this uh, this feature this function right here okay then it's perform accordingly so this is the idea behind this right so now uh, it seems like like our our payload is get ready right here and we should have to just uh, simply what is called like uh, return the publish event to the customer publish publish customer event and simply pass the data right here that's good and so all those data is not required we are getting, going to remove these things from here and simply just to pass the data 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 dot data because already we are having this data and inside the data we have a parameter data also so mm, I, that's up to you like now how you can construct your data but in my case i have just constructed this way so that's why i'm just uh, just passing this product right here and data will be having this product and this data dot data that means it's payload will be having some kind of data right this data because payload require this data so inside the data we are just returning this product from here so now it seems like it's perfectly fine